Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's everybody doing today? Are we off to a, a wonderful start to our, well, it's a start to my day. <laughs> it's 3.30 in the afternoon and I feel like I'm just waking up. I've been busy, 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 but I haven't been actually crafting, so I guess I'm just waking up. <laughs> I don't know. I have no clue. <laughs> Quick edit, cut. <laughs> How's everybody doing? <laughs> As you're jumping on, please say hi. Let me know that you're here. Hi, Cheryl. I was just saying good morning. I don't know. It's 3.30 in the afternoon here for some reason. <laughs> I'm just saying good morning now. <laughs> hi, Mel. We got new product on the website. This one is so cute. Like, Brittany called me from work today to say, oh, my God, Mom, are you really cutting it? I was like, yeah, I'm cutting it. And stop saying, oh, my God. It's, oh, my goodness. They all say it. It drives me nuts. Um, hello, hello. So this one's going to be stinking cute, guys. It's a basket. And it's going to be interchangeable. So you can have this out on your counter, on your desk, on your table, wherever. And it's going to have fun interchangeables for it. This one might be my favorite interchangeable so far. I know we say it all the time, but it is. I saw this one this morning. I bought the file and I was like, yeah, got to do it. So, to start off with, we're just going to paint it up. It's going to be super quick and easy. Then I'm going to take a break, clean this up, and then I'm going to come back and we're going to do one of the inserts. So I'm doing two lives in a row, but we're going to give a little intermission in between. And the reason for that is I want to upload these videos onto YouTube, and I want it to be easy to find if someone's looking for a certain insert or if someone's looking for the basket, because we're having a heck of a time finding videos lately. So, that's the plan. Who's ready to play? I want to thank you in advance for sprinkling this out. We are getting really close, guys, to 10,000 people. So thank you for that. Also, let me know if you're sprinkling it out because, you know, we should probably do another giveaway. <laughs> Who doesn't love a giveaway? All right. So let me grab a paintbrush. And we're just going to get... Actually, I think I'm going to do it with... I'm going to do it with a baby wipe because I kind of want the wood grain to come through like a wood basket. I am going to do it in white, so it's kind of going to be whitewashed. <gasps> Thank you for sprinkling. Okay, so I'm going to do it in white because I want it to look like a whitewashed wood. And then we're going to go back and we're going to add some texture after. If you wanted to do yours in brown, you could. You could do it in gray. I sat here trying to decide what color I'd like best. But knowing I'm changing it out for all the seasons, um, I kind of thought white would be best. At least for me. I'm not saying that it's best for everybody. I'm saying it's best for me. <laughs> Today I'm like really fantasizing on someday I want to have, because we went and saw the Barbie movie, right? Someday I want my Barbie dream house, which is going to be Angie's dream house. Um, crafting dream house, really. And I think I want my house all white. And then so I can just add pops of colors everywhere. Hi, Mary. Hi, Wendy. Someday. Someday, someday. My husband's like, no, we're not painting everything white. <laughs> I'm like, oh, someday you'll come around to it, baby. <laughs> so how's everybody doing? Are you just having a great start to the week? Is everything going great so far? I hope so. I woke up actually like raring to go. Like I've been busy in the craft room since 8 o'clock this morning. And absolutely loving it. Usually I'm like stumbling around and trying to get motivated. And this time I'm like, no, I'm in. Most men want everything right. White, really? Okay, yeah, no, he, he likes blues. He likes color. He's like, no, the white's just too basic. <laughs> Where I prefer everything white and then you can have pops of color. Also, the kids are kind of grown up now. So grandkids might be an issue when they come, but you know. <laughs> Linda, welcome, welcome. Guys, if you're jumping in and it's your first time here, be sure to let us know. And also join in on the chit chat because that's how we do our giveaways. If I don't know you're there, I cannot give you something. Okay, I'm going to do this piece in white. This piece here is actually even labeled back. So that's going to be in behind your basket. You don't even have to paint that unless you want to paint the back of your project. I never do on a live or I seldom do on a live. Just because you guys don't want to sit here and just watch me paint something the back, right? 
I might do two coats. Actually, I should maybe, maybe I'll sponge this on and make this part a little bit more white than the other part, just so it pops a bit better. Can't handle it because of the dirt. I get that. I do. But I think I would be, I don't like cleaning. Like, let's be honest, I'm messy, I'm messy, I'm messy. The house isn't like filthy, but it's very untidy. Um, organization is not my strong suit, but I kind of figured if everything was bright white, um, maybe I would be more inclined to try and keep everything tidy. <laughs> Does that make sense? I would just, I don't know. I dream of a house that is always photo ready, but I can't see it ever happening. It's just probably my, my pipe dream. Okay, so that part's a little bit wider. Not a whole lot, but a little bit wider. And then these pieces here don't get painted. They go behind the scenes. But these pieces will need to be painted white too. So I'm going to go a little bit more white on those too. But yeah, I kind of, I don't know. And I know it's probably just a passing phase. Like, like it was big a couple years ago. Everybody was painting everything in their house white. White couches, white everything. I like a gray couch still because, I, you know, I don't want every little spot of dog hair and stuff to show up. But, um... I just dream of like my colors really popping more like your Christmas tree would really pop more and all your colorful cushions and stuff where in my blue room everything is a different shade of blue in this house except for my backdrop which is teal um, but everything seems to be like a blue or a bluey gray and I kind of find like Christmas comes and Christmas is one of my favorite seasons you know fall and Christmas to decorate for and then I'm like red doesn't go with that green doesn't really go with that so why do I have a house that my favorite seasons don't really go with <laughs> you've considered an all orange house and clothing you have two orange daddy cats <laughs> that's hilarious I actually have a friend I don't know if her house is still orange but I went to see her a couple years back and her whole living room was done in orange and I think her bedroom was orange as well and I mean like Harley Davidson orange and it was because of that like all her Harley Davidson decor she had throw pillows and everything in Harley Davidson so she she kind of had it all matching orange and black and I remember thinking to myself well it'll be pretty at Halloween sorry Lynn if you're watching <laughs> it was really bright it was <laughs> she knew it wasn't going to be everybody's cup of tea but she loved it and that's that's what counts right it's it's a personal thing. Your husband won't do it either because the grandkids are messy. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I would love it, but I'm like, oh, then I'm going to be one of those grandmothers that's constantly saying, don't put your hands on the wall. Oh, don't do this. Don't do that. And I don't want to be that grandma. So I don't know. It might just be a pipe dream. I need to make millions, guys, so that I can have, you know, my white house just for maybe crafting and decor and then the real house that you live in. <laughs> but then that's two houses to clean. And who wants to do that? <laughs> We've got better things to do, right? Oh, my gosh. This, some of the things that pop in my head that we talk about on here is just absolutely crazy. And I love it. I love that we can chit chat like this. Okay, so because it's got a smoky residue from the laser, you are going to find it's going to discolor a little bit on the edges. If you don't like that, you can prime it. Um, I'm not patient enough to prime my pieces. And let's be honest, my house is very farmhouse and rustic. So we're okay with a little bit of, with it, you know, getting that grunge look on the edges. I'm okay with it. But if you're really particular, you can sand it back or you can prime it. And you beach house too. Oh yeah, I want one of those too. See, I just need to make millions. Maybe that's where my white house would be is on the beach. It's a long ways to travel to work, but. <laughs> Sorry kids, you can't come to the beach house. <laughs> Hi Karen, welcome, welcome. Okay, uh, see I'm messy. I am messy, but I do use a lot of white paint so it would blend right in. Okay. 
now we've just got to dry this up, glue it together, and that's it, that's all. Then you have to come back and see what kind of insert I'm going to put in this. You can also get a sneak peek, guys, if you're curious what I'm going to be doing. You can go on to the website and you can see what the options are right now. There's two different options of what I could be doing with this today. Sac City, Iowa. Iowa. No, I haven't been to Iowa. I've been to Ohio. I'm Canadian. <laughs> I've, been to, I've been through New York State. I've been through, I guess, a bit of Philadelphia. What else would I have been through? I've been through Virginia. Love Virginia. Um, I've been to South Carolina, North Carolina, and Ohio. Does that make sense? I probably missed some states in there because I drove. Oh, and I've been to Arizona, but I flew there, so you can't count all the states on the way there. I flew to Arizona. I gotta do more traveling. So many places to see and love. Oh, this is gonna be so cute. Now, this isn't my design. Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. Now, that is on my bucket list. I want to do the East Coast. I really, really want to do the East Coast. I've done St. John's, Newfoundland, and a few of the little, I want to say hamlets, but they're like fishing towns, I guess. I don't know what you call them. Um, but I've been to a few of those. Um, that was several years ago, but it was such a short trip. I didn't get to see much. And I've never done the West Coast either. Oh! <gasps> The world's largest popcorn ball? Seriously? That's hilarious. Okay, and you're in Alberta, but you're from New Brunswick. Okay, so we have a few people from Alberta. Very cool. Okay, so now let's glue this together. I'm going to grab my stick fast glue. If you don't have stick fast, um, Elaine's tacky glue works, works really well, too. Um... Fast tack even works well too. This is Elaine's fast tack. Um, but I love my stick fast because I always hold things up, right? And then things fall off if it's not instant hold. And I'm not patient. So there's that. From North Indiana. Ooh. I don't know anything about Indiana. I've heard of it, of course, but I don't know anything about Indiana. So what he is known for? What he is known for. If I was to go to Indiana, besides seeing the famous Debbie Duckett, what should I be doing if I went to went to Indiana? Ooh, is that where the races are? Like the Indy 500 or whatever it is? That kind of makes sense to me. I'm not a sports person either, so there's that. <laughs> I like baking. I like crafting. That's, that's it. That's all. I love traveling and sightseeing. I love chit chat. Yeah, the 500. Okay. Woohoo. One point for me. My ex-husband was a uh, huge in NASCAR. I like NASCAR, but only for the accidents. But I think that's normal. I think. And it's sad. Like, who? What kind of sad person only wants to see accidents, right? I don't want anybody hurt, but the crashes are the best part. All right, so the part that says back, of course, we're going to stick on the back, and the word back is going to go inwards, just like so. Line her all up, and then you can see there's a little slot in there for your inserts. Ships Shawana, the biggest flea market. Oh, ooh, now that is something I could go do. All right, I'm going to look that up. I am going to look that up. I would love to see the biggest flea market. <laughs> Jamie, I'll meet you there. <laughs> we're going to see, we're, we're going to go see um, Debbie Duckett and go to the world's biggest flea market. Wouldn't that be a blast? That would be a great get together spot. That would be an amazing trip. I haven't even seen it, but you say world's biggest flea market, and I'm in. How did I not know that? Jimmy's like, yeah, sounds good. Ooh, an Amish country. That would be nice, too. I've been to a Mennonite village, which I think is pretty close. That was when I was really little, and I went to Winnipeg. 
just outside of Winnipeg there was one. And I think that's pretty close to an Amish. Debbie's like, I would love to show you. You're so sweet. So sweet. But that would be amazing. Now I've got a song stuck in my head, guys. It's all your fault. If I had a million dollars. You have an Amish around you too. Okay. That would be very cool to see. Okay. I say very cool to see. Now, guys, you know, I don't know a whole lot about this stuff. Um, can you go and vi vi like visit their village, stop at their stores, stuff like that? Or is it like you're really not welcome? Cheryl would love to see the Amish too. I know their lifestyle fascinates me too. I even said to my sister, like the world is going to crap. Let's be honest. Um, it's going to crap in a handbasket. Get it? Um, I have said to my sister, okay, we're going to have to sell off our homes and go buy a farm and we're going to start our own community and we're going to live like the Amish do on our own community. Only we're going to have internet because, hey, that's my life. And she laughs and she's like, count me in. Just so we would have our own private school not have to deal with the school systems anymore because that's a joke. Um, and and just, you know, take on a whole new lifestyle. We'll build our own crafting cult. <laughs> Tuesdays and Wednesdays, lots of shops and places to visit. Oh, okay, okay. So that you can go in. Like, I don't, like, I just didn't want to be offensive, right? Like, oh, I want to go see how they live. And, you know, they don't want people there eyeballing them. I don't know. Okay, you go there all the time. Because, okay, so if it's anything like the Mennonite place, it was cool because their baking was so good and so different from what we typically do. Um, also, very huge batches because they seem to cook for a massive amount of people. Um, I've got the cookbook and I make some other things. Um, like we have a Mennonite... Um, Blueberry muffins were really good. Not as sugary and sweet as what we, you know, would typically eat, but it was like really good stuff. So that was my big highlight. It was seeing their crafts and seeing their, um, their baking. Love it. I think I could adapt if it wasn't for the fact. Okay. Some will let you take pictures, but most won't. Okay. Um, I think that's probably the most the most fascinating part to it. I could adapt probably pretty easily to it all, except for the fact of no internet. I think. But then again, I don't know a whole lot about it, right? So there's that. Angie should shut up now. Mm. Okay, so I am going to go back and paint my edges. But I'm not going to keep you here while I paint them all. But I just want to show you, see, if you clean that edge up as opposed to like that. It's just going to look a little more finished. And then it just sits in the stand just like so. Is that not cute already? Yeah, very private. That's what I figured. Yeah. Well, like, aren't we all? Seriously, like, I'm a crafter and I'm on here all the time, right? But do I want people just stopping by my property to say, let's see how that crazy lady lives? Heck no. <laughs> There's nothing to see, people. Keep on walking. <laughs> so I, I totally get that, right? Oh, they might be doing your roof. Okay. I know um, up here, sheds. We buy Amish sheds from the States a lot up in this area. Everybody seems to be selling them and everybody seems to be buying them. It's a huge thing. And they are gorgeous. We thought we were going to have one on the property. We bought one and then the township said, no, we couldn't have it. And we had to sell it again. Woo, woo, woo. Very, very cool. Okay. So guys, that's the basket and, um, it's three forty nine. So let's say four fifteen. I'll come back and let's make something to put in our basket. All right, guys, have a great time till, you know, till another 25 minutes. <laughs> Be creative, have fun, try to avoid the housework. <laughs> I'll talk to you after. Hi, Nancy. I'll see you in a bit, okay? Bye.